Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. This is the second video in our series of getting started with Zoa Creator. In this week's video, we will talk about creating custom pages in Zoa Creator. So custom pages are very useful and you can embed certain elements to them, also get the buttons and also add the dashboards to the pages. And we will talk about the basics of creating different pages. Before we begin this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button not to miss any useful information that we share here. Great thing about Zoho Creator pages is that you can customize them to fit the web view and also you can view them on mobile and tablet. For this tutorial, we will use a pre-designed Zoho Creator app because it has already pre-made forms and different pages so we can showcase different functionality of the pages. So to create a page, you should click a big plus button at the top of the top bar menu. As you can see here, you can create a new component. You can create a form, a report, a page or a workflow. We'll be creating a page, so let's click on that element. So you can create a page from scratch or from pre-designed templates. There is a lot of different pre-designed templates that you can use and also customize to your needs, but we recommend you to try and create a page from scratch and we will do just that. So let's go back and click on the blank page. Let's name it as a home page and continue. As you can see, a page builder will open up. So there is different elements such as panels, charts, gosh, search, form, report, different snippets, buttons and widgets. We'll talk about the panels first. First of all, you can add the header or footer for this page and also align it as you wish. And also choose the background color. You can scroll down and see all of the pre-designed different templates for this element as a panel. And then you choose one that you like and drag and drop it to the blank page. At the top bar menu, you can see the design tab and code tab. So you can customize this panel by code too. So you have this option. But let's go back to design and see the all of the settings that you can use. So there is display settings. You can choose uh, a text or there's presets like building presets, page variables, Zoho Creator uh, functions as some minimum, maximum, median, average count or distinct count, Zoho Sheet as a cell view, Zoho Projects, for example, a task count, bug count and milestones. And then you can click on the text and choose how you want to display the data. So for example, you want to open a homepage and see all of your tasks for this week. And to do that, we have to choose the count function in Zoho Creator and choose certain parameters for this. First of all, you need to choose a form. We chose add a task form because we want to see the task count. And then you should specify the criteria of certain tasks that you have. For example, the due date or the status of the task. We can make a status of this task equaling to new and also choosing the next criteria, which is due date and choosing the before the end of this week to see all of the tasks that are new and also the due date are is to the next week. And you can also choose the and or or option and option means that both of the criteria for this task should be met. And if you're choosing the or criteria, then either one or the second criteria should be met for this task. When you're happy with the result, you can also choose showing count as the actual count, the percentage or the fraction, depending on the data that you need. And there's additional settings for displaying the format of the count as thousand, millions, and also with dots or commas in between the numbers. Moving on to actions, you can choose the actions for this tab. So there can be no actions for this tab, or you can click on it and it will open a URL, open a form, open a certain report, open a certain page, or execute a certain function, which is very useful. We will choose the option of opening up the report and choose the report of the task so you can from the home page easily access any report or dashboard that you need. 
And the great thing is that you can set up how can you view it. So for example, you can view it on another page or also view it as a pop-up window, which is much more useful in my opinion. You can set up the width and height of it and open up this report as a pop-up window. Moving on to the last tab at the right side bar menu, and it is the style tab. You can choose different fonts for your text, the style of the text, the color, font size, the value, and the suffixes, and all of these settings to design the visual appeal of your page. And all of these different settings are also available for other elements on the panel, for example, for the text to describe what panel is that, and also for the icon. You can choose different icons, the style of them, and also the shape and color. So you can easily customize everything. And for example, you can mark with colors different types of reports. So the task report, everything in there will be green. And for a projects report, everything will be red. So you can visually find the information much faster. So we talked about the top bar and the right bar menu, but you can click on this arrow at the left side and it will open up another menu with additional elements that you can add to the panel. For example, you can add like drag and drop text elements or preset numbers to add to the panel. You can also add different kinds of images and additional icons if you need them. And from here, you can also choose and add a button to the panel. Uh, so it will be included to this panel and it's again very easy to use. You can just drag and drop any element and it will be added. Moving on to another element that you can add to the page, which is a chart. There is a huge variety of different types of charts you can add to the page. And then you can also customize this chart with certain data that you can fill out. And then you can again add the function of clicking on it and opening up a more detailed dashboard. So again, you easily drag and drop the element and here you can customize the color palette of it and different colors, the background color, and also the legend position can be none, top, right, left, or bottom. Moving on to choosing the data. First of all, you have to choose a form from which the data will be added. So the x-axis will be the due date category, and we can label it to the due date, and the y-axis will be the statute of the task. You can choose the value type as the aggregate or actual data, and label it and also choose the all records or selected records and let's choose the criteria for the records for the status of the task to be a new task. And I had to mention that the great thing about Zoho Creator is that the data is updated immediately. You don't have to wait. The second you refresh the page, the second it will be updated. Moving on to the next component, which is Gosh, you can choose different types of these reports to add into your panel and customize the look of it and also add the certain data for it to show the report. So you can add the values, the minimum and maximum value, and also the target. So let's make this report for the target amount of completed projects. To do that, let's choose displaying data as the distinct count and choosing a form adding a project. The next thing we're going to do is selecting a field. For this example, we will need a field status and choosing not all records, but selected records. And again, specifying the criteria of the status being the project completed. You can also choose the distinct count as an actual count or percentage of a number. And you can also make this gosh from the form adding a milestone because it also has a field of completed projects. The next thing we're going to choose is the maximum value of the projects and also the target of the projects that are completed that you want to reach. And now you're done with the gosh type of report. Let's move on to another element, which is a search bar. So again, you can choose from different styles of search bar and drag and drop it to your page. Here you can set up what you want to look for for a report 
or a certain page and set up criteria for what you want to look for. For example, we can set up a search for my tasks that have a description. And you can open up this search in a new window or again, very useful pop-up window. Moving on to the form element, you can embed a form to the page or embed it as a button. It is very useful because, for example, at your home page where you can see all of your tasks, you can also embed a form where you can add a new task and fill out all of the different information, just clicking on the button and embedding it as a pop-up window and filling out the data in the pop-up window or embedding a full page, uh, a full form into the page of your application. And the same thing goes for reports. You can add embed report as a report or embed a report as a button and you can access this report as a pop-up window or again, embed a full on report on your homepage. It is very useful for creating pages with certain types of dashboards and reports. And you can also add the report for certain metrics into your homepage if you need it. And moving on to the next element, which is snippets. Here you have a whole new level of customization because you can embed the HTML snippet or ZML snippet, which is Zoho's uh, programming language with Deluge. And you can also embed a container for any external link. But moving on to the next element is which is buttons. You can add different types of buttons, add different types of links to there, opening up the reports, again, the forms and uh, all of the other things and also customize the button to your needs. And the next fully custom thing that you can add is a widget. You have to create the widget first and then you can embed it into your web page. Now let's move on to the visual appeal of your page. Here you can see that you can easily change the size and alignment and the place where you want your panels and uh, reports and all of the other elements to be. And you can fully customize your page so it fits your visual uh, view and also it is pleasant for your eye and helps you to find the information much faster. So you can move around the elements however you like. You can put a lot of elements into one line or you can make them just on top of each other however you like. After you're happy how your page looks, you can also customize the look of it and uh, get rid of the margins between the elements so you can make it all at the white background between all of those borders between elements as you can see here and you can customize the look on uh, the web page and also customize how it will look like on mobile and on tablet as you can see you can make it as cards and plain and change the layout type however you like it and the same goes for a tablet. You can customize fully the look of it on the tablet devices and change it however you like. This is all for today's videos. We will make more complicated uh, creator tutorials in the future, but I want to explain that this is the basics and just getting started of the app. So you're familiar with the basic functions and you know how the elements work. We will make more videos about that in the future, so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and also if you want a custom application made from our team or a custom solution for you, make sure to book a free consultation with one of our experts by the link down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.